that's like I like next time I watch a Civil War f- in history, like something, I want to know what Stonewall Jackson's favorite position was. Now that's interesting. <laughs> Apparently, he was afraid of sitting in chairs because he was afraid he would fall back and break his neck. He was also afraid of freedom. <laughs> Alright, Jesse, after you've wasted my time for the past, like, four weeks. <laughs> take, take me back. Take me back to the critical path. Yeah, we've just been side questing. Do you even remember, like, what we're trying to do here? Yeah, I'm trying to kill that dramatic cunt. Um, well, we're trying to get to, uh, Elaine, Elaine, or whatever the fuck, Eero, Elaine, or whatever. We're trying to get to the top of the first city that we did. Remember how it's all blocked uh-huh. off? Mm-hmm. So Pots of Ephemeral burn... Castle. Yeah, Pots of Ephemeral Castle. We need to burn the thorns <clears throat> that are blocking the way. Um, and you remember where the, the grace is guiding you? Do you remember the whole grace guiding you mechanic? Like, it looks like right here. This this region. Yeah, exactly. But that you, it's guiding you from Mesmer's castle towards that region. So we need to. Do, this is might I might actually have to do some research here because I'm trying to remember how to get there from Mesmer's castle. Is so fucking big and confusing. I think it's pretty early on in Mesmer's castle that you can go there um, before the big library area. So maybe start where you fight the hippo, and we'll go from there. You really think it'll be this early? There's no way. It is, because I remember paths divulging very quickly. So there's a path that you can take where there's, like, those creepy hand ladies, or not hand ladies, there's, like, jar ladies, and there's, like, an invisible wall and some stairs you can go down. And that's how you get there. So maybe don't go. How? Holy shit. We're gonna die. We're dead. You're just taking the direct path, man. Yeah, where else could I have gone? I'm gonna well, go back you down. Gone right on the stairs. Oh! I just went right off the edge. <laughs> you could have gone right. That's 200,000 souls up there. I'm not gonna the go way. get them. I'm not gonna go get them. Nah, fuck 200,000 souls. We don't need that. Like, I don't... You say that as if... But, like, that's not even being sarcastic. Like, it's true. The levels mean nothing. I guess. I suppose you're right. Like, Jesse, we just spent more souls than that, I feel like, so I could dress up as the Magic Kingdom until I realized that it's not nearly as good as I want. Like, it means nothing to me. You want to go this way? Like, in here? Yeah, to the right, maybe? Oh, I can't I'm even... I'm gonna Google it while you're doing it. Do your troll roar. Do the roar. The troll do roar? The roar? Do the roar. I didn't do that Do much. the roar. It stuns the fuck out of them. But I thought it would, like, hurt them. I thought it would knock them back. Here, entertain us while I'm Googling things. I have nothing entertaining to say. Dan, entertain It's like the magic us. tree. We can go in here. This will take Wait, us. Entertainment, please? Oh, there's an item. Nice. I've been wait I've been looking for this. All the best guides come to tell you to get that smithing stone. Because you're gonna need that later. If you somehow manage to find level five smithing stones, you're gonna need that one. This guy's still chasing me. The error stop? Oh, that one too. Let's see, you can go in here. This is just gonna take us up to that other room that you got upset about when I went into it. Dude, I don't know why. I'm getting fucking... I Google Elden Ring DLC progression or the uh, area order, and I'm getting fucking... Oh, I think it's there. It's on that level that you're in. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm getting fucking Sports Illustrated articles. Classic. Yeah, this is the room that we're in. We, I think you want to go back down to the room that you just came from. I oh, think okay. That's, that's 
There, that's, I think that, that looks right. There weren't many options in that room, though. I think that's definitely it. That's my... my I guess I could have my... dropped down in that place where I picked up that special smithing stone. No, because that's above over here. But I think just go back there and, like, just kill the dude so we have a minute to, like, look no. at it. Okay. <laughs> hey. The Magic Kingdom... Have you been drinking? Oh, shit, you're right. I didn't drink for that. Those past two. Good thing for reminding yeah, me. Yeah, I know. Go to the right. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's the down. Okay. That, that will take you back down to where we started. Yeah, so don't drop there. Oh, so go where? Back, like, out go the window? Go back to where you were. Yeah, out the window. Oh, my God, this is so ah. fucked. I'm glad we're gonna... You're at least gonna have to drink this. <laughs> <laughs> from something. It's like so hard. Like I know people might be watching us and like, oh Jesse's so fucking stupid. Like Yeah, I was thinking I, I, know, I thank you like, for like you just captured what I was thinking. Yeah, okay, thank you. But like when I'm playing these games, I'm not like I'm just kind of exploring pretty methodically, but like I don't really think about like the exploration. It just kind of happens, oh, and then like I find away, a route. Like, oh, let's. It's a new route. I haven't been here. You know, I don't usually like look at a map and like, oh, okay, I need to go here, here, here. It just kind of happens. Oh, why the camera like just fucked me there? What that was weird. Yeah, it fucked you. I mean, it did. It kind of just spun around and locked on and changed the direction I was moving in. Why do these guys hit so hard? <laughs> Should we eat the crab? Crab run? No, crab I don't want that. Crab run. Crab no, run. No, 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 no. Crab run. Did you know that Chicken Run is the most highly grossing claymation movie of all time? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me because I can't imagine there are that many. Really? That, that doesn't surprise you? No. Chicken Run? That movie fucking sucks. Think about The Nightmare Before Christmas. But does that... I don't know that that grossed a lot. That seems more like a cult classic. I mean, it's a pretty intense cult classic. I think... Maybe, I guess... That doesn't mean it's grossing high like, in the theater. So, like, that doesn't matter. Yeah, but think of all the... the Where am I go from here, Jesse? ...merch that's being sold. That's not... All right, find... Find a room. There's yeah, this room. There. This is where that yeah, cool item was. Yeah. Okay, don't drop. That's where we were before. We don't want to. Okay, well, so that I got no options in here then. Okay, now go out and you remember how there was a knight with his back to you? Go uh -huh. that way. There's a room over there. Yeah. Okay, go right. In this room right. that I was in, and then there's a ladder to go yeah. up, but you don't want me to go there, up that ladder. There's, yeah, there's some place you haven't gone in here. Doesn't look like it. There's no way. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Seems like it's a fucking room. Well, how do you get there? I'm fucking losing my mind. It's an invisible wall. Is it? I I, I think that there's definitely an invisible wall. Dude, fuck off. No, that's gonna be... Place. I think I might have to break my promise and fight these guys. I don't think I'll be able to find an invisible wall while I'm dealing with them. No, it's probably not. I'm just trying to find the name of the fucking place so I can Google how to get there. The Ancient Ruins of Ra. Okay. How to get to Ancient Ruins of Ra. Okay. So, have you watched anybody play Deadlock yet? I don't even know what Deadlock is. I, I've i never played a MOBA before, but I really want to play Deadlock. It's uh, Valve's new MOBA. Valve already has a MOBA. Play. Why do they need another MOBA? I know. MOBA? But it's their new MOBA. Okay, this guy's starting on the storehouse first floor. So I lied. Storehouse first floor. I definitely lied to you. I said it wasn't in the storehouse. Oh, fuck me. I know. I know now. The one in the middle. One middle, in the middle. 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 I do know this now. Okay, I'm not even gonna watch the rest of the video. I'm winging it here. Nice. The police. Okay, go left. We never went like fully left, hard left. 
We just never did this. Okay, yeah, it's this one. All right. Yeah, see, it was Later, pretty easy. Losers. We just kind of completely forgot to just go left there. I was like, there's a hidden wall. I think there still is a hidden wall, but I can't be certain. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so I guess, they, I mean, this is obviously critical path. They wouldn't make it, like, so difficult that you couldn't figure it out. But, I do you see how it kind of reminded me of that room I directed you to with the weapon racks? Uh-oh. Yeah, but um, Valve made, it's a third-person shooter MOBA. And it looks like a lot of fun. Like, I was watching some people play it. Like, I could definitely get into that. Oh man, I feel like... I've never played a MOBA before. That's good because we don't we don't have like a, a game. Wall. That's a fake wall. Which one? That one? the one in the room. It, the one the thing. It looks like a fake wall. I lied to you. Is that what a fake wall? Okay, I lied to you. <laughs> Go ahead. I was gonna say because we don't have like a game to play anymore. I know. And it looks like a perfect game for you to get upset with me. Like, oh, fuck off. Like, it's like, because, like, you just, like, I never really under, I didn't, I didn't understand MOBA terminology at all. When people would say, like, fighting in the jungle, it, I was always like, what the fuck does that even mean? Or, like, creeps or, like, lanes and stuff. I never understood it until I saw it in, like, a third person. Per person? A third person. Like, I was like, oh, this kind of makes sense now. I get it. Um, and like I can totally see you being upset with me for being too aggressive or something. It's like you just fucking mm -hmm. stay in your lane and farm. It's like no, I got this guy. Like I my fucking alt's on cooldown, but I got this guy. Stay in your lane, Jesse. That's good advice, just generally speaking. Yeah, I usually do. I'm pretty good about staying in my lane. Like I try to exist where I cause like no. I don't want anybody to notice me typically if possible because recently you know what i do for my job like that uh -huh. i basically do nothing yeah they hired a new girl that like works before my shift and she does almost everything now. i've had i've almost had nothing to do at work for the last three weeks i've just gone in i've done like maybe 40 minutes of work or less and then I just sit there and watch people play Deadlock, or... I, I've been just walking around the building, that's my new thing. Because I'm trying to, like, get my steps in, I'm trying to be more conscious about, like... Okay, it's so, like, you're, like, the security. You're, you're just, like, patrolling. <laughs> exactly. I've been, I've been trying to, I usually walk about four miles during my shift recently. <laughs> I just, I walk around the building and just, you know, look at mm -hmm. stuff, listen to Dan Carlin talk about history. Let's say Dan Carlin talk about the Persian Empire. Yeah, what Which they funny, up to? I listened to this guy. I listened to the King of Kings, Dan Carlin, Persian uh, episodes before. But when we were on my bachelor trip party, I was telling you about a couple episodes ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we're sitting in the car and we're like listening to music, talking. And at some point, you know, the talking kind of stops. So I was like, "Do you guys want to listen to, like a podcast, or do you want to like listen to an audiobook? And they're like, oh, let's listen to the, the history podcast you were talking about. And they fucking hated it. They were like, this is terrible. But then I was already hooked. I was Whoa. like, I haven't listened to this in a couple of years. I was like, oh, yeah, this is like a, a magic one. He's big, too. I feel like the magic stink. And that's like nothing worse than like having people hate the fucking podcast that you very much enjoy. It's like, man. But I kind of got back into it then. I was like, like cool, they didn't want to learn about the Persians. Yeah, like they were complaining that he was too anecdotal. Like Dan Carlin's pretty anecdotal. Like he like compares stuff to other stuff. And um, oh, that's one of those things I think we can give to Quaylon if you want to summon him. Oh, like, the my lookalike, my the doppelganger. Yeah, your your doppelganger. That's the thing I think you need to give him if you want to summon him. But I think we already said we don't have the mind to do it. But, I mean, it's something to work towards. Next time we have 400,000 souls, we can put some in mind. 
get Quaylon in. I don't want to do that though. I'd give Pot Jr. a fucking rest. Never. Pot Jr. doesn't want to rest. Pot Jr. wants to fight me. It is the Persian history is pretty wild. I'm about to go on a history tangent, so everybody's uh -huh. gonna like tune out at this point. But you got Cyrus the Great, right? He okay. basically makes the Persian Empire from nothing. Then his son does some shit, and he's not very popular. From but then nothing. After his son. Hold on. What? I wouldn't say he made it from nothing. Oh, the Persian Empire. Like there's a, there were still a lot of people that maybe weren't Persians before, but it's not like he just like, like built. He like, didn't like yeah, build the were... society though. He made them like a power. And yeah, and you can say like, he he Assyrians brought them together and connected them, and but the again, it's not like. Yeah, whatever. Like he he made Persia what it was. He okay. was the beginning of the great Persian. He made Empire. Persia great. He made Persia great again. And then Not again, like he was the first. Yeah, okay, you're right. His son was trying to make Persia great again. And he killed his brother. But then there was then at one point there was like a guy that was like pretending to be the brother that he killed that was also a wizard. Like this is actually in Persian history lore. They're like then the wizard uh whatever his name was, Garmalta or whatever, like the Gar wizard Garmalta pretended yeah, Gargamel pretended to be uh, uh, the brother of the the current emperor who the emperor had already killed because he didn't want him stealing his birthright. Um, it's like what the fuck? And then he the the, the he his son dies. Uh, fucking what's his name? His son dies, and then his like fucking best friend and like bodyguard becomes the new emperor, Darius. And it's like, well, what the fuck? Like, how does that work? And then Darius's line, I'm pretty sure, extends up into Xerxes. Like, so it's like, it's crazy, like, how that works out. It's like, okay, that was weird. That took a weird turn. There was a wizard, and he usurped them, and then they fought the wizard, and the other guy died, and Darius became the new emperor. Crazy. But you know who's the best Persian emperor? Not Xerxes? No, not Xerxes. What the fuck is happening up there? <laughs> I think the <laughs> Rot Reign. What was that? Who's the best Persian Empire? Or Emperor? Alexander the Great. Oh, snap. Got him. Got him. See, that's that's the third episode. That's The, th the third episode's all about Alexander. I think the second episode's about Xerxes and the Spartans and... Uh, Thermopylae and all that shit, and then the uh, the third episode. Oh, there's the fucking emperor there. of Persia up there summoning that shit. I see now. Yeah, that's the with the fake wizard emperor. Like I just think that's crazy. Like that's written history. Like it's like then the wizard Gar Gargamel came and stole the Persian throne. It's fucking wild. Hey, do you know all... fucking that your boss oh, is dead? Like I killed him. Man, he's got he's got nothing else to live for except for burning rain. Burning rain. But yeah, Alexander the Great is like the real the real king. Yeah, I'm excited for the Alexander bit because then you get to learn about Philip and Macedonia and all that crazy shit. Did I tell you that I started watching the like Netflix Alexander the Great special? And in the first in the first five minutes, they just have him like hardcore making out with another dude. I was like, I mean, I get it, but like really like that's not what's important here. Like yeah. I get that he is probably bisexual, but like they're really pushing it. Like Alexander the Great just loved just fucking being a power bottom, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, cool. Like <laughs> that's not what I'm here for. Not, I'm not even gonna be like one of those people who's like everybody's pushing the gay agenda, but like that's not it's not that relevant. Well, that's like I like next time I watch a Civil War fucking history like something, I want to know what Stonewall Jackson's favorite position was. Now that's interesting. <laughs> 
Apparently, he was afraid of sitting in chairs because he was afraid he would fall back and break his neck. He was also afraid of freedom. <laughs> He's a fucking traitor. Man, yeah, the Confederates suck, but they, they he did have that cool line where he said something about bayonets, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I know. you. We've talked about this before, but... I know. There's no you. Like you can't Stonewall save it Jackson. for him, Jesse. He is Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> so this is a spell that you can get from this guy, and it's the worst spell in the game. It does virtually. It's pretty good when he does it. Yeah. Well. Oh my god. Ah! Do you think we need to put a weapon that does more damage on? I don't think that's what we need to do now. Oh, okay. Are we going to just finish the DLC with we our weapons at half strength? Is that like our new challenge? Until the next boss. All right. Very good. What are you doing? I had to fill up my glass. Oh, your wine glass? You don't just drink. I always assume you just drank straight out of the bottle. Nah. That's like in my mind. That's how I like foresaw you doing it. I just have like a straw into the bottle that I drink it out of typically. Yeah, but I figure the Italians give them, they give them some, some respect. It's not very good though. For the, for the same price point as the gulpable Spaniard, you'd be a fool to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> It's too acidic. So I saved a guy. Oh, we're we're on Jesse's list of save things. I've saved some things. Like I've been accumulating save things for a while. Um, something new, something new and exciting. Just like Jess, like Jesse's news corner. Can that be the like the new the new bit? Yeah, Jesse, whatever you want it to be. Daniel Day Lewis is returning to the acting scene. Okay. Daniel Day Lewis is set to star in his son. His son Ronan is directing a movie, and Daniel Day Lewis will act in it. Now, I mean, but the only reason he's doing it is because of his kid, though, right? But what if it's fucking amazing? Like, what if he like, what if he wins an Oscar or something? That seems unlikely. He just goes so hard. Wow. Like, imagine like Daniel Day Lewis as your father, like trying to help you with your math homework. Would he be in What is four plus four? Now you have a, a four, and I have a four. And if you combine them, what do I, you get? I think, though, if Daniel Day-Lewis was my dad, I would want to go to, like, a milkshake place with him. Like, hey, can we, hey, Dad, can we go to Dairy Queen and just try to get him to say <laughs> anything about milkshakes? How many people do you think give him that, you know? A lot. But, like, I would be one of them. He wouldn't, though. Like, I, like as a person, I, I can see him. I'd like, be like, oh, man, no, Dad, no, like, my smart. milkshake is pretty good. Like, do you want to try it? Oh, no, please don't buy this guy. Yes. His big dumb hat. That's pretty dumb. <laughs> Maybe we should put because you can see Pot, Pot's bottom half of his face with that on. That could be a that could be a look. Hmm. Oh, nice. So once we get the next like three or four somber some think zones, then we can like almost level this thing up. I know, right? Where where are all the fives? They don't want you to get the fives. I think in the base game we struggled with seven. Seven was the one we couldn't get. It took us a long time to get the seven because you you were using Radon so. Oh man, now I've got sevens. I'm getting so many sevens. You wouldn't even believe the number of sevens I have. Like his he his, he loses his son in the grocery store or something. I've abandoned my boy! I've abandoned my son! Uh, this is a whole big it. thing. Who is this guy? He's a little it. rabbit. This is a little squirrel. This area is very cool. I don't think we're probably going to give this area the 
the just desserts that it deserves, but this area is fucking crazy. The amount of level design that went into the I feel area. like I give everything what it deserves and nothing more. <laughs> and nothing less? Just like, what? Alright, All right, Gilgamesh, calm down. I do like that you just have one big sword strapped to your back. Cool guy. While you're riding around. Oh, do I have to kill that guy for a magic talisman? Oh. Uh, he is glowing. I think the glowing ones, yeah. Maybe? Oh, no. Oh, you, yeah, you got the Revered Spirit Ash. That's the one for Torrent and uh, Pot Jr. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. This Open. underground area, this like temple area, is so extensive, Dan. I'm not joking. It's crazy big. And it's kind of a maze. I think you can make that drop, but I'm not exactly sure. That one doesn't have the little glowy. Ow. Are we just not gonna fight anything here? That one has a glowy. Oh man, we passed the glowy guy. What, that guy right here? Yay, get him, get him. Oh. Nope. Oh, fuck. Next pass. He's gone. he's gone. Oh yeah, he's gone. Bye. Fuck. This, this area is fucking massive, man. It is absolutely huge. What and like, if you want oh, me to Scorpion. direct you, I can try, but... No, I think you're more of a hindrance. <laughs> All right, while you navigate this, I'm going to read to you the next thing, Jesse's News Corner. Jesse's can I open Corner. these big magic doors? No, you can't. Some of them, well, you can only open some sides. Do you know what a webkin is, Dan? What? A webkin? The name sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you what it is. They were very popular in the early to mid 2000s. They were like these stuffed animals and you would get like a little code with them and then you could log on to the Webkin's website. And like, it was basically like a uh, animal farm or not animal farm. <laughs> the, <laughs> what is the uh, animal crossing? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Like with it where you make like your little village and you decorate a house and you play little games. Yeah, I think it was like that. I had one. I had like a mongoose. Um, and my girlfriend had a, like, I bought her a lionfish. So she had a lionfish and I had a mongoose. But this, this person wrote this whole fucking thing up. I used to have a webkin that I would pour milk on and suck the milk back out of. It was sopping wet all the time. I used to slam it against walls and it would make a loud thud. My brother... That's, There's no way. I didn't. I thought I could <laughs> land on that one like thing jutting out of the side. My brother saw me suck milk out of it once, and he. I got sad when he made fun of me, and I didn't pour milk on it for a week. And then it got rock hard and smelly, and my mom had to throw it away. It was so fucking heavy. I brought it to school one time, and my backpack was soaked, and I made my friends hold him, and they were upset. I just thought that was the like one of the best things I've ever read in my life. Just this sopping wet milk web kitten. Yeah, it's horrible. Like, and the fact that like he he kept it like he kept it pretty fresh because he it was constantly in milk, so like it was it was just a submerged milky boy. But once it had not seen the milk for a couple of days, that's when it, things started to go south, you know? But I mean, do you think any of that actually happened? I don't know, man. I'm just trying to enjoy the interwebs. You, see, you gotta take these things with a grain of salt. Oh man, he's kind of weird looking. <laughs> what was up with that face? Are you just like jumping off things now? Is that I, th I wanted like? to make it to that pillar, but I didn't jump. It was ambitious. I think I can make it. I believe I can you can you can do your do your bit though. Send me the things. Oh okay. We spent the whole episode just trying to get to this place. Nope, can't make it. Close though. I'm running out of talismans. I'm running out of talismans, Sam.
What's that? that? The, that's Jesus' basketball team. <laughs> that's the 12 disciples? Like, what does it do as a talisman? It makes your vertical leap higher. You can jump higher. Nice. Next. I think that one does... You do more damage with incantations. I think it's the faithful flock. So you were pretty close. It's a faith based, like faithful flock talisman. All right. How about this guy? Now you said that. Okay, there we go. Uh Oh, I have that one. Yeah, you just got it. Uh, it makes your flasks heal you. Oh, Dan, you're so close. You're so close. It, was it that one? Or was that the other one? I mean, they look exactly... Okay, this isn't fair, though, because you are colorblind. I didn't think about that. I was actually just about to make fun of you, but you are colorblind. The, oh, okay. This one and so this a trap. one. Like, well, I, get, I totally forgot about the colorblind thing, because, like, does that look the same to you? Uh, what's the difference? Oh, the inside one bit of, is different. Yeah, one of them is red and one of them is blue. That's blue? The top one is blue. Oh. Uh, yeah, if, the, if I look at them side by side, I can tell the difference. The blue one, it, it does, it, it makes your, uh, your blue flask do more. Oh, that makes but sense. I, like... You were like, I was about to take the piss out of you, but I was like, I was making fun of a disabled person. Yeah, like, that's a hate that. crime. That's a hate crime. You can mock Italians yeah, all you want, but you can't mock the colorblind. Well, it's not because you're colorblind. It's because you're Jewish. 